Hi everyone, welcome back to Whisper Surfing Machine. So, last time, for our last video, we managed to finish the day two. So, when I get back here, I think we're gonna sleep and we're gonna end up to our room. You know, the story of Katarina and Carl reminds me so much of what we went through. Yeah, similar circumstances, but vastly different outcomes. It's fascinating how just a few variables can change everything. Indeed. Are our lives nothing but a sum of interconnected parts? Does any meaning attributed to them simply stem from our limited human cognition? Most likely. The observer bias seems insurmountable. Even the concept of meaning itself is relative. It's scary to think about that it could all be an illusion. Every relationship we had, everything we ever cared about. It really is. <sighs> this can't be healthy. Okay, welcome back to, to day three, I believe. So let's go out. Cool. So we have a new augmentation. So it is called Cloak. Temporarily Invisibility. Touching a tangible object or activating another augmentation will break the effect. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm alone in here. No reason to hide from <laughs> That's nice. Okay, let's go out. Morning, Agent. Dr. Parison asked me to tell you to meet him in the morgue. He's done with the remains from the recycling center. All right, thanks. I'll go have a look before I pay Epos a visit. Let's go back. Okay, let's go to the morgue. Oh, this is a new guy? Let me ask him. He looks sick. I shouldn't bother him. Okay. That's just a new guy then. Well, Leonard, it's been quite gross working with you. Hello again. I've got a present for you, Agent. Is that so? Yep, right here on this tray. If you're a fan of minced meat, I've got a bucket full of Leonard out back, too. I think I'll pass on that one. Good choice. The seasoning is subpar, to say the least. You take your jokes way too far, Doctor. Now, what have you found? Well, obviously, the poor man was shredded. Fortunately for him, it happened when he was already dead. Yeah, I came to the same conclusion. Can you tell me anything about the cause of death? Not much with the remains in this state. No signs of toxic substances, but that obviously still leaves a lot of options open. Noted. So what's this in front of me? Oh, yes. I noticed a pattern on Leonard's skin. Likely a tattoo. These are all the pieces I could find. I'm not sure how they fit together, but I kept them in case you wanted to have a look. All right, I'll check them out. Uh, this is a little creepy so it's a it's a skin jigsaw puzzle uh. so let's try let's try to solve this I have circle here I could see some circle in here so let's, let's start with circle Would that fit? Oh, that's gonna fit. Okay, then let's try to complete the circle. Okay. I can't even move everything.
Oh, this is a little easy. Okay, this one probably is here. And here. There you go. All good. Huh. Looks like Leonard had the symbol tattooed on him. I'll copy it to my notebook. Do we have it? Or oh, there you go. So let me talk to I Dr. Person. I have things to ask. Shoot. What's your opinion on the Free Church depots? I try to steer clear of those people. Any form of superstition, religious or otherwise, is of no interest to me. Let's try to That's go to the church. Church of Epos. Doing. Let's try to go to the church of Epos. Oh, there's a this is roll. Okay. Oh, the artist managed to finish the the mural. Oh, these are the this is the poet. Change of venue. Yes, this is where the recital will take place later. Great acoustics. Ah, can I have a little foretaste? Very well. <clears throat> the same wind, my dear. The same wind. Shook the walls of Jericho. Dried your tears. No Lee to be found. No trust, nor joy. This fire you were set to guard, and I to rest by its side. Your weapon rusty and old. An ounce of solace to seek while you grow old and weak. That was great. I love the ending. You're too kind. I don't want to disturb him. Okay. Maybe Can we... later. Doesn't look functional. So these are the things that we could investigate here i'd guess those are members of the church i don't recognize any of them a neat row of candles probably for ceremonial use hi there greetings and welcome to the free church of epos if you wish you can enter our public prayer room to the right for some silent contemplation all right thanks what about the rest of the church the other areas are off limits to non-members I have official police business, though. Special Agent Angwin. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. You're gonna need papers. This is a diplomatic sanctuary. There's no time for that. I'm trying to solve a triple homicide. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. But I can assure you that there are no murderers here. I'd suggest you take this up with your superior. Looks like That's some kind of public prayer room or chapel. There are a few people in there. No point. He won't budge. Let's try to energize him. I don't need to get him energized. Oh, let's try the new. Let's try the new augmentation. The cloak. Let's go here first. I need to get out of sight first. Out of sight first. Probably here. Oh, there you go. Let's go inside. Ah, oh, this is cool. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Okay. 
Can I match the tattoo from this? Not a bad idea, but I might want to take a closer look first. Looks like a timeline of how the EPO seals changed over the years. This one is the third version of the EPO's logo, designed about 15 years ago. No way. It's the tattoo design. That must mean Leonard is a member of EPO's. Or, well, he was at some point at least. I'll get rid of the sketch, now that I've identified the symbol. An armed guard. If he notices me, I'm likely in big trouble. Oh, what can I do here? Also... Yeah, that might work as a distraction for the guard outside. I need to be sure that I don't have a reason to return to this room, though. Okay. Doorway. Some kind of assembly hall with plenty of people inside. I should stay clear. Some kind of large pool or bathtub. It says LD on this box right here. That's gotta be Leonard Dahl. Locked, obviously. We have a key from him. Can we use this? Got a written piece of paper. Grandmaster Otto, if you are reading this, it means that I have failed. I'm sorry, but I didn't want to involve the church unless absolutely necessary. My brother has some things for you. They will be self-explanatory. I told him to only give them up to the person who repeats the famous quote from my favorite book. I'm sure you remember. Blessings from Leonard. Your most humble and loyal servant. Oh. Seems like Leonard was up to something shady. I'll have to find his brother and figure out what the quote is. Let's try this again. I've looked there already. Oh, what's that? All right, let's see if this works. Oh, that's good. What the heck? That should keep him busy for a while. Okay. Try to go there. Some kind of metal workshop. The room is a dead end, so I'll avoid it. Sturdy looking filing cabinet. Dirty looking filing cabinet. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. Suppose it wouldn't be a church without a Bible quote or two. Sturdy looking filing. Try to push this. Sturdy looking filing. Sturdy looking filing. Sturdy looking filing. Find another way. Sturdy looking fine. Sturdy looking filing cabinet. Sturdy looking. Sturdy looking. There's a, there's a ventilation panel. A ventilation there. panel. Can't reach it from here. Just try to move this filing cabinet. Ugh, it's stuck. Alright, 
It's loose now. Okay. I'm just doing it in time of the light so that no one's gonna hear me. Okay, big big vent. Six new members over the last month. The Bacarbo Parish is also doing better now. They managed to resolve their financial difficulties. Oh, this is the guy from the train. That brings us to the subject of these horrid murders. Vile acts for certain. I pray that the church will stay clear of any blame. Why shouldn't it? We had nothing to do with those atrocities. I know that, old friend. But surely our enemies will not ignore an opportunity like this. <sighs> I suppose so. Our violent past coming back to haunt us. Sadly. The fact that one of our people was victimized will inevitably draw eyes upon the church. Yes, maybe it's in our best interest to invite the police as a gesture of good faith. It would certainly show them that we have nothing to hide. Very well, let's bring the subject to a vote at the council tonight. At the very least, it seems like the church leadership didn't sanction the murders. I'll wait a bit and see if they leave. Wow, that's a lot of books. They have an impressive library here. Wow, that's a lot of books. They have an impressive library here. Administrative paperwork. Wow, that's... Oh, cool. oops, armchair. I don't think it's safe to go... Okay. Let's go out. Welcome, visitor. Oh, uh... Special Agent, Violent Crimes, Central Bureau. Oh, it's you again. The man from the train. Indeed. I never forget her face, but I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. It's Agent England. Ah, I am Vilgut. I assume you are aware of our legal status. Yes, I've been informed. But tell me this. If you had nothing to hide, why would you invoke said legal status? A church needn't have things to hide to be protective of its privacy. But to prove you wrong, I'll answer any questions you might have. All right. I'll take you up on that. Let's try to ask about Leonard's so murder. Dahl, one of your members, was killed yesterday. I had a feeling your inquiry would lead us to him. Can you think of anyone who would want him dead? No. He was a loyal member of the church for many years. Kind of a loner, but always helpful and polite. He did have a strangeness to him, though. A look in his eyes like he was stuck in perpetual contemplation. It seemed as if he was constantly on the verge of but never quite able to reach some sort of profound revelation. Hmm. Any hint of a violent side to him? No. To my knowledge, Leonard never committed any violence, nor did he express any desire to do so. How about the church? Let's ask him about the church. This church? Epos? What are your teachings? At our core, we are an orthodox Christian church. We believe in the one true God and his only son, Jesus Christ. And what sets your group apart from other Christians? Two things. The reverence of the essential humanity in each and every one of us, and our stalwart opposition to false idols. Prior to the collapse, the great flood of our time, we arose as a reaction to the disgraceful habits of that era. The widespread worship of anything and everything but God. Wealth, fame, mindless pleasure, the sickening mutilation of our bodies to the point where some were more machine than human, and the worst of all, the pursuit of AI superintelligences, false gods that humans aspire to construct for themselves. We oppose it all for the glory of our creator 
and the salvation in our future. And how do you go about preventing people from worshipping these false gods? Not by violence, if that's what you're implying. Such things belong to the past. So it's just a coincidence that the only armed man I've seen in Nordson was right behind your doors? Sadly, the world is still in a state where men with guns are a necessary evil. However, no laws have been broken. We have every right to bear arms. Let's uh, ask him about the book. Do you know what kinds of books Leonard liked to read? Hmm. Uh, one book he borrowed frequently was The Kingdom of God is Within You. In fact, it still hasn't been returned. It should be among his estate. Would you be able to say if he had any favorite quotes from that book? No, you should ask someone who spent more time with him. Fine, I'll do that. What kind of book is it anyway? It's about non-violence, to summarize. Got it. Thanks. Let's ask him about the conduit. What's your take on the conduit? Oh, those heretics? Haven't heard anything of them in many years. As far as I know, they are firmly confined to the ash heap of history by now. Some might argue with that. Your church has a violent past with them, hasn't it? There's no denying that. We fought many battles with their kind in the youth of our movement. And now? Don't be absurd. They are practically eradicated. And we have been a peaceful group for decades. What do you think about their teachings then? Certainly dangerous doctrines if left unchecked. The conduit believes humans will create God in their image instead of the other way around. In their folly, they forget that humans are flawed and that their creations will inevitably inherit those flaws. The false god they aspire to create may demand sacrifices they're not prepared for. Let's ask him about murders. What do you know about the murder in the workshop hall? Not much at all. Only that a carpenter was brutally killed there in the night. How about Maya's what murder? About the murder in the museum? Only what my fellow church members have told me. That Maya Strand was stabbed to death by a mysterious killer. He knows Maya Strand, so let's ask about him. What's your opinion on Maya Strand? She was my polar opposite in almost every way. But I enjoyed the occasional late night chess game with her in the canteen. It's fascinating how trivial activities like board games can bring such different people together. Goes without saying that I was as shocked and appalled as anyone when I learned of what happened to her. Let's uh, ask him about Leonard's you know brother. Who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rob. Quite a shady oh. character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. Okay. It's Rolf. Let's ask him about Katarina. You know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher. She also calls herself Melinda. I believe I've seen her around town with the school children, but I don't know much about her. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's ask him about Carl. What do you know about Carl Oscarson? I must confess I didn't even know his name before I heard he was a murder victim. Okay, we're good. What? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, and I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. Okay, we're good here. That's all, for now. Understood. I'll be here if you have more inquiries. Okay, let's go. Let's exit. Oh. oh. The passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. That's nice. Okay, let's try to go to the recycling center. Look on Leonard's uh, things. Probably we could see something in there. Leonard's bed. This is probably where Leonard handled all of the paperwork. There it is, the book from the library. Okay. Got it. What's this book? The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient, pre-collapse for sure. A number of pages are marked in the margins, likely to easily find them. Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. 
Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. Let's try to find um, Rolf. Probably he knows something about this book. We found him at Mim Mimmer Road. Here he is. Let's ask him. Hello, Rolf. Hey, look, I'm pretty busy here. Not really a good time to talk. This can't wait. You heard about your brother, right? It's a small town. What do you think? Sorry about your loss, but I really need to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Uh, let's ask him about what Leonard. What kind of relationship did you have with your brother? The sibling kind. We weren't enemies, if that's what you're asking. The rest is really none of your business. Let's scan him. Actually, relax. Let's ask him about uh, Leonard's sorry, murder. Rolf, but I have to ask you about your brother's death. I know, and I wish I had something to give you, but I don't know what happened. So you have no idea who'd want to kill Leonard? It's gotta be the nut job who killed those other people, right? It's possible, but far from certain. When was the last time you talked to your brother? A week and a half ago, or so. Okay, how did he seem? What did you two discuss? He was his usual self, but what we talked about is private. Look, every little detail matters. What he said could be the key to finding his killer. I'm not gonna betray his trust. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. But that's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Okay, let's ask him about the book then. No, I don't want to tip him off before I figured out the exact quote. Okay. About the church. What can you tell me about the Church of Evelyn's? I know for a fact that your brother was a member. So? That's not a crime. Come on, Rolf. Work with me. Don't you want me to catch your brother's killer? <sighs> yes, he was a member. But I'm not. I spent 10 years trying to get him out of that place. Why would you do that? Because he changed. He became this sullen, slow, serious block of a person. He used to be so full of life, you know? I know he died just yesterday, but the Leonard I grew up with, he's been dead for a long time. I understand, Rolf. Thanks for sharing. Okay. How about the conduit? What do you know about the conduit? You know I'm a gardener, not an electrician, right? That's not... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> That's, That's funny. For now. Good. Okay. Let's go back to the police station and ask the guys there regarding what we found. Be of assistance. What do you know about the Free Church of Ethos? We have a few members in the family, but I've never been there myself. Always felt uncomfortable in churches. How about the book? I'm trying to find a book quote that Leonard Dahl was fond of. Any ideas? Maybe ask his co-worker, the guy from the recycling center. Yeah, good idea. Where can I find that guy then? What Rolf? Do you know Rolf Dahl? <laughs> you could say that. I've stopped counting the number of times we've hauled his ass to jail. Oh, he's a troublemaker? Yes, ma'am. A slippery one. But one of these days, his luck will run out. Okay. So let's All go right, to the commissary. Good luck out there. This commissary doesn't know anything, but let's try to ask him. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. What's your opinion on Rolf Dahl, the plant master? Oh, oh, don't get me started on that troublemaker. He's always up to something. Yeah? Like what? Anything that will make him a quick buck. Smuggling and handling of stolen goods, usually. 
want me to look into it? No need. You have bigger fish to fry. We can handle Rolf. Okay, I'm gonna uh, ask him about Leonard. So it turns out that Leonard Dahl was a member of Epos. That's disconcerting. Do you suspect that the church is connected to the murders? Not anymore. I infiltrated their compound, and nothing indicates that they had any prior knowledge of the killings. I see. That's a relief. It is? Well, a whole organization committing murders would be a hell of a lot more difficult to deal with than a single person. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, made sense. This is the first time that this guy is making sense. So let's ask him about the what church. What do you know about the Free Church of Epos? Well, I'm no member myself, but my father was an Epos man. Oh really? What made you pick a different path? I suppose I never had much faith in a higher power. I believe in humanity, and that's enough for me. What's your impression of the church, then? Positive, overall. From my point of view, they've always been a friendly group of people. Law-abiding and ready to lend a hand when the town needed it. You must admit, the embassy status is quite suspicious, though. Agreed. I opposed it at every turn. We should all be equal before the law. But in the end, it was a political matter and out of my hands. Okay, how about the book? I'm trying to find a book quote that Leonard Dahl was fond of. Uh, I'm afraid I can't be of much help there. Perhaps a friend or colleague would know. Hopefully. I'll try to find someone. That's all I needed. Very well. This is the first time that this guy is making sense or giving suggestions. Okay, let's go. Let's go out. So I think I'm gonna cut the, the video here. So this is gonna be it for, for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next episode.